Hi everyone, Renee here from Tippy.com, and I'm going to show you how to use AirPrint in iOS 4.2 for the iPad, the iPhone, and the iPod Touch. Currently, AirPrint is only supported by a handful of HP printers, the ones that support ePrint. I happen to have gotten one of those uh, for sale at Future Shop, which is like Best Buy, for a little bit over $100. Um, they do go up in price though, so uh, check around. But here I have the tippy.com page, and I want to print this page so I can reference all these how-tos. So now you'll notice in iOS 4.2, the plus sign has been replaced by the action button. So I hit the action button, I go to print option on the menu, I'm going to select a printer, I see the PhotoSmart D10 series, I'm going to click on that, I can choose the number of copies, I just keep hitting the plus sign, it goes up, goes down, and I can tell it to print. Once I've told it to print, I open the multitasking dock and I have this little print server right here and I can take a look at what is happening. And you can hear the printer warming up in the other room. I can also uh, cancel the print job and then you'll see nothing is waiting anymore. And I can close it down. This works the same in the Photos app, so if I click on a photo here, I just have to go over to the Action button. Um, hit print. Again, this time because I've already set it up, my printer is pre-populated there. I can just hit print and go. It works in a large variety of applications, not all applications. So for example, if I want to um, print my note here, there is um, no printer option. But there are lots of apps that do support it. It works exactly the same on the iPhone. I hit the action button, Hit the print button, select my printer, photo smart series, choose to print two copies, I hit print. Open up the multitasker, I have a little print services guy, and it tells me I need paper. I haven't owned a printer in five years, I haven't owned printer paper in five years, so I'm going to have to go find some, but there we go and I can cancel the printing. Photos, action button, print, print, double click, little printer utility, cancel, and I'm done. Now when Apple first showed this off, uh, they showed that it would work both for printers that supported wireless printing, but also for network attached printers to your Mac or Windows PC. Unfortunately, right before release, Apple removed the network attached portion. They said that it was a little bit buggy, so hopefully we'll get that in an update. If you are dying for it right now, um, you can go to tippy.com slash tips, click on the iOS 4 tips, um, scroll down a little bit, and you will see how to re-enable iOS 4.2 Network AirPrint on Windows, and we also have one up for how to do it on the Mac. It does require a little bit of ninja skills, you know, being able to move files around, uh, being able to type in uh, stuff on the command line. Uh, so it's not for the faint of heart, but it is for those who are tech savvy and really, really want the uh, functionality. Here's the Mac version if you want a little preview. Uh, again, you have to be able to run stuff from terminal, uh, get a few files off the interwebs from the early beta version of Mac OS 10.6.5, uh, but if you want to do it, it is there for you until Apple decides it is ready for the masses. Again, www.tippy.com slash tips, uh, and we have all of these waiting for you.